Oh, oh crap, my cheetahs! Oh, c continue. Hey guys, Brotaku Gamer and Fletcher are back with another episode of Undertale. We got little Snurp here, and as you know in the last video, Toria. Toria she turned right on right. us. She's tried fighting us. She what wrecked will she us do so now? Well, What will she do now? Let's kill her. She just wants the booty. She wants that booty. The booty. Ladies. We will defeat her. But and then with we kindness. will play it. With kindness, right? Yes. We, will, I don't want we will find a way to get out of here, guys. We will never be here alone. She can't keep us as hostage. She won't keep us hostage. Do you think Flowey could help us if we don't get through this? I wonder if Flowey's still stalking us. Maybe. Already? Oh, wait. That's your voice. Z Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? A good spanking. Dorio blocks away. I've already forgotten the buttons. Oh. So, last episode, we learned that, um... We got a spare. And stuff. Yep. We were trying to talk to her, but that didn't work out very well. And Broku cannot learn the controls for crap. But it look like, but in this playthrough, he looks like he's doing pretty decent. Why isn't she saying anything? Because she's wondering what you are I doing. accidentally skipped that text, just shouldn't have. Oh. Crap, I accidentally skipped that again. Looks like there aren't any more technical difficulties like last Toriel time. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Oh, this is seriously all we have left. He's a spider donut. Yeah, as long as we save one, we'll be fine. Yeah, you're doing better. I will survive. What are you proving this way? That violence whoa. is not always the answer. Whoa, whoa. It's Toria looks through you. Fight me or leave. Never. Oh, ow. Wait, is she perfectly like Stop avoiding it. you? No? Oh. no, not yet. Oh, crap. Stop looking at me that way. What mean looking at you that way? I oh, at... crap, crap. No, I believe in you. Keep on going, keep on going. Toya looks through you. Go away. Look. Up. Toria prepares a magical attack. Keep on going. Oh, she's avoiding you. Come at me, noob. Fight me. Fight me like a man. Toriel is acting alone. 1v1 me. Making my way through the darkness. Toriel is acting aloof. I know you want to go home, but... I do. But please, go upstairs now. What would happen is we just like attacked her I right here now. I promise, I will take good care of you. Just like, whoop! <laughs> like when, right when her got rid down. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Are you sure? Do you have Wi-Fi? Why are you making this so difficult? Cause I want to know if you have Wi-Fi or not. Please, go upstairs. I need Tumblr! <laughs> What's so funny? Tumblr is a serious matter. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. I mean, like, not with that attitude. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. Are you sure? My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. You don't know where I grow up. I might have grown up on the hood. Maybe on the street. You don't know. For you, my child. Yeah, we raised up I in a cul-de-sac like white people. I will put them aside. Oh. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, no. 
Now it kind of makes me want to take back everything I said about killing her. Goodbye, my child. But not really. Please stop staring at us. Do you want our booty or something? Is that what you want? We did it, guys. We beat her. But at what cost? Never to return? Do we stay or do we go? What the crap are you talking about? They don't get a choice in this go up. I know. There we go. I walk a lonely road. Well, now it's a lighter purple. <coughs> that color fade, though. The only road that I have ever known. Is the uh, follow the purple brick road. Oh, no. Go up. You gotta talk to him. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play, to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. I don't care. <laughs> Just keep on going. I don't care. You gotta read it in his voice, man. <sighs> Fine. But what will you do if you meet a res relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. I feel well, that's like a he's saying dying. something for the future. Is this foreshadowing? Maybe. Until you tire of trying. I feel like he's trying to foreshadow something. What will you do then? I don't know. Probably get a burger. Will you kill out of frustration? Probably not. Or will you give up entirety on this world? Maybe. And let me inherit it. You're just a flower. What can you do? I'm the prince of this world in future. You're more like a weed. Don't worry, my little monarch. My... Plan isn't re just side. Uh, side. In this world, oh, oh oops! <laughs> Holy crap! You ugly. Illuminati confirmed. And that's the end of the game. Thanks for watching. Well then, so all that just happened. By Toby Fox. Beat Toriel, explored the ruins, still have my cake, still have my spiders. Whoa, where are we? We're in a forest of some sort. What's this? There's a camera inside the bushes. <sighs> dark. A dark, ominous forest? I'm definitely not going to get kidnapped here. Oh gosh, that scared me. What? Who stepped on this and broke it? been smashed like it was nothing. I got my eyes on you, Forrest. Best jump scare, 10 out of 10. Better than Five Nights at Freddy's. You fool, we'll get so much hate now. Never. Don't worry, they're probably like 11 or so. They're probably wondering what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep walking. I heard something. Illuminati confirm. Illuminati is filing us now. So, what? Yep, we're going to get raped. I don't know. They look pretty fat. I'm pretty sure we can outrun them. Human. Human. Don't, don't you, you know, know how to, to greet a new pal? Turn around and, and shake my hand. hand. So, um, I think I'll do him. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be in watch for a humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother, my bros made it too white to stop anybody. Quick, behind the conveniently shaped lamp. 
How conveniently shaped. Wow. Sup, bro? Do you want to do them or should I? You'll probably have to do them. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You're just hanging around inside your station. Are you? What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. Those animations, though. What if you? What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I must be the one. I will be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. It reminds me of Trixie. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. Oh no, he's lonely. I will bathe the shower of kisses every morning. Like, hmm. Maybe the sound will help you. Sands, you are not helping you lazy bones. All you do is bundoogle. Sit and boondoggle. Boondoggle, whatever. You'll get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> a skeleton. Well, now I understand what this guy is going to be like. Oh my. Sands! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! Sigh. What does someone as great as me have to do so much work to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. How does that work? You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you're going to have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Yes. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Does he oh. want a hot dog stand? I bet he runs this hot dog stand. Actually, hey, um, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. So it sounds like Papyrus is just that one person who tries to do everything, but really, he just needs to help himself. Save point! The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Hey, look, there's a box. You know, I'm really curious. The button was at C. Cell. Dial. Nobody picked up. No! Mommy! Why? Why you have to do this? Oh. Snow Drake flutters forth. No, I want to. Joke? You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one before. Snow Drake is smiling at its own bad joke. What are you laughing at? I think you should just spare him until he makes some sort of joke or something. Smells like a wet pillow. You make a bad ice pun. Haha, <laughs> nice try. What are those? Those are... I heard that one before. I swear, I think you should just spare him until he makes like some sort of joke. Because I feel like he'll make a joke of some sort. Realized its own name is a pun and is freaking out. 
Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one.